There have been a lot of exciting advancements in self-driving car technology in recent years, but mostly it's been from big corporations like Google and big institutions like MIT. Right now, a four-person startup out of San Francisco is getting its own technology in the space, launching a new product today. We're here at the Alameda Airstrip, just outside of San Francisco, where I'm going to take the product for its first test drive. All right, so standing with me is Kyle Vogt, who's the founder of Cruise. This is obviously some sort of augmented Audi. <laughs> what is Cruise doing? This is the first highway autopilot system that you can install on your existing vehicle. So this system, the way it works is you drive onto a highway, push a button, and it takes over. It keeps you in the center of your lane and a safe distance from the car in front of you. Okay, so it sounds a lot like cruise control. How is this different from cruise control? It's cruise control, except you don't have to steer, uh, which is a big difference if, you're, if you've got a long trip or you're stuck in stop and go traffic uh, or you commute on a daily basis, it makes a huge difference. And right now this is available for what cars? Uh, for now, just for the Audi A4 and S4 but we're gonna expand to other models later. Okay, can we try it out? Yeah, let's go for a ride. Okay. Uh, so let's do it. So let's I'm just gonna drive a little bit. So this is a cone course we've set up here out on the airstrip. Um, we did. We took a map once of this, just drove the course, and then it, that's all it needs. So just push the button here. Cruise engaged. <laughs> that's it. It is just driving your steering wheel so for you. No hands, no feet just relaxing. That is wild. And if you're using it on a highway, when you push the button, that's like your set speed. And it will, um, you know, as long as there's no traffic in front of you, speed up and slow down to hit that speed. <laughs> this is crazy. Feels like a person's driving the car, but they're, they're not. <laughs> um, I noticed you didn't use the word autonomous vehicle or self-driving car. Why is that? Yeah, I don't think that's fair for what this system is. I mean, it, we call it a highway autopilot because it drives, you know, certain parts of highway driving for you. But it's not quite the, you know, the self-driving car you think of from science fiction where it takes you from home to work. But one day, possibly, could Cruise develop that kind of technology? Yeah, yeah. We, we intend to do much more. This is sort of, you know, I, I think um, we have a different approach than a lot of companies. We want to start with something smaller that we can do really well and build on top of that over time. I suppose it's kind of when you say autopilot, it's sort of like how commercial jets now are often flown mostly with autopilot, but you still need a pilot there. That's right. And there's still, in most cases, they're still paying attention. And just like in this case, you're still the driver, you're still responsible. I have to be watching the road. Right. And this is going for pre-sale. How much does it cost? This product is $10,000. Uh, it's our early, early price. Um, and that includes installation on your existing vehicle, and it works on Audi A4 and S4s for now. How did Cruise, which is obviously a four-person startup, come up with something like this? Well, we're definitely standing on the shoulders of giants. I mean, like autonomous vehicle research has only become popular in the last few years because of companies like Google, but it's a 30-year-old science at least. Um, and we've just kind of taken a lean startup approach, and we're trying to get a product that people will like to market as quickly as possible. Uh, well, I think some other people are more research focused. Do you have patents or anything around this? What is the core thing here that you've figured out that made you say, okay, this is ready and we could put it on the market. It's finally ready to be like a product. Well, the magic here is that we don't have a $70,000 spinning LiDAR on top of the car. That's the sensor that Google uses on their vehicles. Um, we use sort of low cost commodity hardware, uh, which means we can actually sell it at a consumer price point. And so the magic, I guess, in our, in our secret sauce is in the software that uses these inexpensive sensors to do this kind of driving. And when I'm on the freeway, does it also sense if a car in front of me is slowing down? That's right. It's got a radar, so it can see all the other cars on the road and where they are. Um, and it can see far enough out so that even if a car is stopped in front of you, completely stopped on the highway, it sees it far enough in ahead to come to complete stop. There's something a little bit disturbing about sitting in a car and having the driver actually not not doing anything. Uh, that's just because this is new to you. It is. Um, but you know, there's like a third of the workforce in California commutes over an hour a day, um, and so for for people like that, this is a big deal. This is like a significant portion of your life is sit behind the wheel and stop and go traffic or on long trips, and this is for those people. And then if you need to overtake the car and you want to start piloting again yourself, what do you do? This is just like cruise control. I can just grab the wheel and put my foot on the, the gas or brake cruise and now I've got control. Disengaged. What do you need to do in order to make this pass all of the regulations and laws that, that it needs to in order to be street legal? 
That's a good question. So there aren't that many regulations that we need to comply yet with yet, uh, but we're voluntarily going through the same rigorous processes that most of the major auto companies go through when they bring a new product to market. Th independent third parties do failure modes analysis, think through all the things that could be wrong, and make sure we've got them covered. It's a ten thousand dollars is obviously expensive, but when you're thinking about this is a seventy thousand dollar car, or, six, or what is this like sixty thousand dollar car? It's yeah. just sort of an incremental add on that's kind of like a fun. It is. I mean, it's almost the price of getting like the premium package and the technology package on a new car. And you have to remember, this is the first product of its kind. You know, the very first laptops and cell phones were were really expensive too, and and the price of this will drop too over time. So where can people buy this? You can buy it directly from us, uh, and we do the installation. And it's for pre-sale all throughout the United States or just in California? Just in California for now. Okay. We're doing a very slow rollout, um, you know, only limited sets of highways and then limited geographic areas, and over time we'll expand that. Okay. When do you expect to start shipping after the pre-sales? Yeah, we're, we're shooting to do customer installations in the beginning of next year, so 2015. Wow, the future is here. Yes.